Hi guys, that's Hannah, I'm Chris and we are Albion Creations. Today we wanted to show you how we made the Pure Nail from Hollow Knight, which if you haven't played is a really cool Metroidvania. It's about 10 on Steam right now, so if you should go and get it. Definitely go. And if you're wanting to make one of these, it's really easy. Materials wise, you just need some EVA foam, some foam clay, a one inch PVC piping, paint and glue. Tool wise, it's super simple. Knife, Dremel, heat gun. Uh, we used a wood burner to burn in the details, but if you want, you can just use a knife. We'll but go into we, that more yeah. a bit later. We explain that all in the video, which we'll jump into now. Bonk. Bonk. Firstly, we made a vector of the nail using the image provided on the wiki, and scaled it up to about 80 centimeters long. Then we printed it out, traced it onto 10 millimeter EVA foam and cut two mirrored copies, making sure to add a sharp bevel on the sides of the blade to cut down on sanding time later. To make the handle, and to add support to the blade, we used PVC piping, which we heated and then flattened to make sure the curve of the blade wasn't too visible. Using the pre-made vector, we traced out the details on the blade and mirrored it for the other side. Before coating both pieces and the PVC piping with a thin layer of contact cement. Once the cement tackified, we stuck the PVC piping to one side of the blade and then, starting at the tip, joined the two sides together, trying to ensure the seams were as smooth as possible. Then, using a wood burning tool, we drew over the lines to create indented grooves. You could also do this by tracing the lines with a sharp knife and then heat treating it, but that would result in much narrower lines. After everything had cooled down, we then reheated it with a heat gun to seal the foam and the carving. After glue had fully dried, I went back in with a rotary tool and neatened everything up. I also used this time to smooth out the bevels and create a more rounded edge. We started with a sanding drum and moved on to a stone bit, as the high density of the foam caused rough burrs at a lower grit. This was followed with another quick blast of heat to seal up the new top layer of foam. We moved on to the handle, where we went a little bit off script, but I think it works. Firstly, we wrapped the protruding PVC pipe with 5mm EVA foam, and then used some more foam clay to fill in the gaps at the base of the blade. More foam clay was used to add to the shaping of the handle, and the rotary tool came back out for the areas which needed to be recessed. When we were happy with the shape of everything, it was time to prime. We used a mixture of wood glue and water, one part water to three parts glue, and coated the nail with five layers, letting it dry fully between each coat. It's time consuming, but results in a really smooth finish. When that was drying, it was ready to paint. We started with a single coat of Cobra Black, which is our go-to spray paint, followed by a layer of white acrylic, but I hated it. The acrylic looked incredibly patchy, so we went back over it with white spray paint, which had a much more even finish. Once the base layer was dry, black acrylic was used to fill in the grooves, making sure to go up each side of the dip. Two coats of clear gloss spray to seal it and the pure nail was finished. Really hope that helped. If you're wanting to make one of these yourself, we've got a free template for all the line work on our website. Just Go click some buttons. It's easy. 
Um, next month we're going to be working the Methroidvania theme yet again. With the Morningstar Whip from Castlevania. Which is about as Methroidvania as you can get. The Vania bit. Potato tomato. Anyway, we'll be releasing a free pattern and prop, free template and prop for the next 11 months. If there's anything particularly you want us to make, leave us a message, drop a comment down below. Do the YouTube thing. Hit the YouTube buttons, you've all been there before. Yeah, hope you really enjoyed it. Hit it. <laughs> <laughs>